I do see a path for agents with, you know, the right training process to eventually be able to do many, many things in the virtual sort of computer environment that humans can do today. You know, right now they can sort of do some things, but the path for increasing the capability there is, you know, reasonably clear. You get more reinforcement learning uh, going, you have more agent experience that it can learn from, you have, you know, early nascent products that can do some things, but not most things, uh, but are still incredibly useful for people. Uh, and I think similar things will happen in sort of physical robotic agents as well. Like right now, that we're probably close to making that transition from robots in messy environments like this room kind of don't quite work today, but you can see a path where in the next year or two, they'll start to be able to do 20 useful things in this room. And that will introduce pretty expensive robotic products that can do those 20 things. And then learning from experience, they will then get cost engineered to now have something that's 10 times cheaper and can do you know a thousand things. And that's going to engender even more cost engineering and more improvement in capability.